Wichita, Kansas, a city in the heart of North America is best known as the air capital of the world. But did you know it is also home to a pioneering organization that has changed thousands of lives by providing amazing services to children with special needs and their families? It was right in Wichita, Kansas, where the Institute of Logopedics was born. The Kleffner years ended on a high note. In 1988, the Institute celebrated its 50th anniversary, its golden anniversary, to celebrate the impact of Dr. Palmer's dream. After more than a decade of service and dedication to advancing the mission of the Institute, Dr. Frank Kleffner retired from Heart Spring. And in 1991, Dr. Jack Andrews began his 11-year commitment as president and CEO of the Institute. With this new leadership came a change and a new beginning. As an audiologist himself, Dr. Andrews continued the legacy of a worldwide presence with a trip to Burma, now Myanmar, providing audiological training and equipment. We went in 1995, local entrepreneurs Jack and Marilyn DeBoer came and asked us if we would go over and work with World Vision and go to Mary Chapman School for the Deaf. When we got there, we tested all of the kids in the school. Oh, they were thrilled. While Dr. Palmer's dream focused on speech and language deficits, the Institute now provided services well beyond that of Dr. Palmer's original vision. After 60 years, Andrews and the Board of Trustees decided it was time the Institute of Logopedics changed its name to better reflect the growing number of services provided. The organization was going into other parts of the country and trying to recruit more students or more children to serve. When they talked with parents, parents said, I don't want my child institutionalized. The name Institute of Logopedics, which used to be such a positive, began to become a negative. Through a partnership with Armstrong Shank, now Armstrong Chamberlain, the name HeartSpring was chosen. The heart representing the basis of love and life, and spring representing a new season, a new life. We looked at many, many combinations of names sometime shortly after the focus groups were completed that I believe Jack Andrews said, let's put these two together and this will become the name. It took a while to make it happen or feel good about it, but yeah, it was a great change. You change names when you get married. It's not what's in a name. It's what's up under the name. Soon after the name change, Dr. Andrews surveyed more than 7,000 donors, supporters, employees, and trustees, and an additional need became clear. HeartSpring had outgrown the campus across from Wichita State University, and it was time for a new campus where the organization could continue expanding and growing just getting by until the decision could be made and then the decision was made we're going to build a new one just bubble gum and bailing wire and hope and a prayer keep it running until they can, until we can get out of there you see at its current location heart springs is facing challenges and obstacles that have become insurmountable problems like neighborhood crime the deterioration of the physical campus and outdated buildings and facilities. Because HeartSpring is helping children with increasingly complex disabilities, it needs buildings that are accessible for children with special needs. It just doesn't make sense to have these children attend class in one area of the campus, walk to the basement of this building for lunch, and then climb long flights of stairs to reach the physical therapy rooms on the third floor. You would have had to make so much stuff handicap accessible that it, you know, start over was, was the better bet. 
HeartSpring launched a $12 million capital campaign to build a state-of-the-art campus. As they started construction, various times we would come out in groups to see the new building and the construction and it kind of helped us make the change. It was one of the ones that closed the door at the old campus. Myself and a few of us, we had a ceremony and we all had wore black <laughs> and we closed the doors. They tore down the first two courts on each side for the Cessna Training Center before we even left. A year or two after we left, I heard they were starting to tear down the empty apartments. And I went back and got a couple bricks that were cemented together and they're my doorstop at home, my little memento of the place. With a celebration in the spring of 1998, HeartSpring opened its new home, a beautiful 38-acre campus in Northeast Wichita where it still resides today. Everything was new. It was just getting used to a new facility that you don't have to work so hard on. With the turn of the century, the new campus brought an abundance of exciting change and new beginnings for HeartSpring. For starters, the Growing Place, now HeartSpring's Pediatric Services Department, was established to offer the life-changing outpatient therapies it provides today. With Dr. Andrews' retirement, Gary Singleton began a 13-year career as president and CEO in 2002. And with Dr. Andrews' completion of the new campus, Singleton expanded programming and spearheaded a focus on long-term financial stability. REACH really got back to going under Gary Singleton, and we ended up developing a partnership with Stars and Rain School in Beijing, China, and really got very active with their program. And so we've sent a lot of people there. They've come here several times. Under Singleton's leadership, the organization also created fundraising opportunities through community events like Lights on the Lake and Pedal Fest. Lights on the Lake received incredible support from the community, but sadly, it came to an end. Well, unfortunately, a storm came through Wichita and took out over half of the lights, and out of that was born Light Your Heart in 2015. A little piece of Lights on the Lake still exists. Some of the lights that were salvaged um, through that storm, they were donated to the city of Wichita and also to the Ark of Sedgwick County. So as you drive through there, you will get to see um, the Lights on the Lake installment that was once on our campus. With the national awareness on the rise of autism diagnosis, Singleton saw a need for more research and innovation to better meet the needs of children with autism and their families. HeartSpring began its Community of Autism Resources and Education Initiative, commonly known as the CARE Program, in 2007 by hosting its first Autism Care Walk, an event designed to raise awareness of autism in the Wichita community and collect funds to support the CARE Program which offers social and summer programming for children with autism. In 2015, Gary retired from HeartSpring. His tenure saw incredible growth in programming and the assurance of long-term financial stability. Under new leadership, HeartSpring kicked off a capital campaign project to renovate and expand spaces in order to serve more children. The Expanding Possibilities Campus Expansion Campaign really came out of a necessity to increase Heart Springs capacity to serve more children with special needs in the Wichita and surrounding communities. The campaign allowed us to renovate existing structures as well as add new buildings onto our campus. Today, the mission continues as strong as ever. From a simple but powerful vision to a strong and ever-growing mission, HeartSpring continues to change lives today through innovation and community services. It really is being part of a legacy. It's something special, it's magical, and I hope that it continues on for another 85 years. The history of HeartSpring signifies a passion for creating a more inclusive world for every human being on Earth.
a passion that has become an extraordinary legacy, a legacy of change, a legacy of opportunities, a legacy of giving, a legacy of hope.